All right, welcome back to another episode of our Guild Wars Factions playthrough. We are in Arborstone. We are still riding the high of finding these green items, daggers of Zhukao. We got them last episode. We farmed them in four tries, mind you, right outside of Matu Keep. If you didn't watch that video, highly recommend. It's a noob-proof way of farming greens, and it was quite successful. Today, we're going to put them to use... And we're gonna be using these daggers along with our uh, our illusionary weapon rebuild, and I'm gonna do something crazy. I think Tar Heel recommended it. Uh, why not? If you're gonna run illusionary weaponry, why not just get a pet to chill with you in the front line? So to do that, I'm gonna be talking to this gatekeeper to leave Arbor Stone and capture a white tiger. But I need to be careful. I don't want to accidentally collateral damage it. So I'm going to need to... Yeah, I'm going to need to take down this group first. Here. There we go. I should have covered my... Um... Yeah, it's all good. I, should have... I was going to say, I should have covered it with um, my Illusion of Weakness. I always forget to precast it. It does not... It does not go away on its own. So it's a pretty nice skill to cover my illusionary weaponry with. I don't want to take out the tiger. No! <laughs> there should be another one somewhere though. That's annoying. Let's see if we can find another one up here. Man, are you kidding me? Why did it spawn right there? That's very unfortunate. Let's see if we can get another one. Man, there's none. My teammate doesn't really need me. So, kind of nice with running daggers my attack speed is fast enough slightly faster than the sword so kind of don't need to run flurry actually not that not really that fast is it kind of underwhelming a little bit there's a tiger yeah, the tiger. Okay. Um, he should be out of range for this fight to injure it. So let's just take these guys out. With my daggers, it actually lasts longer. It lasts like an extra few seconds. I mean, yeah, an extra twenty percent. What is that? Mathematicians. It adds a few seconds there. Five seconds or something like that. I know that's not right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so what we learned last episode, Roger here, he learned how to... He learned how to, um... Fight. Sword fight. In the... On the stage as an actor. But what people don't realize is he actually learned a thing or two about taming tigers from the great illusionist Siegfried and Roy. Um, of course, they did end up getting mauled by their pet tiger. But we're going to do something they never did. The problem with them is they, t they tried to tame and raise a baby tiger from a cub. The secret is you have to tame a tiger... When it's full grown and wild. And then oh god. He's just these are just love love taps. He loves us. There we go. And now we have our very own white tiger. And he's gonna be joining us in, in Arbor Stone. I don't know how how well he's gonna survive. Probably not so much at all. But uh, let's go ahead and do this Arborstone mission. 
now I don't need charm animal actually. Um, let me look. Let me look for some skills. Ranger skills. There might be a ranger skill that increases my attack speed actually. Is it called like tiger or something or other? Tiger stance, tiger or something. Um, what's it called? Hmm, I'm not seeing it. You and your pet run faster. I'm not seeing it actually. I might be thinking of a Dojin taste. Here we go. No. I might be thinking of. A nightfall spell, uh, dance. Oh, this is it. All of your non attack skills, bestial fury, that's what I was talking about. All of your non attack skills are disabled for five seconds. For five seconds, you attack 25% faster. That's what we're gonna do. So now, we do need beast mastery. Very cool. I don't even know why I was running Domination before, actually. We weren't even going to use it. Uh, drain Enchantment. We'll keep it just in case. This is looking good. All right. Let's do it. Arbor Stone. This is a really tough mission. Let's go with a healer and... Uh, Archer. Yeah. This is very running this skill though is very similar to our blackout skill that we had before isn't it because it it disables all of my um skills but we're gonna be auto attacking anyway so it should be fine whoops wow that prior frustration hurt There we go. That's a, that's a pretty fast attack. We get two NPCs in this that we need to keep alive. Looks like we're going to wipe right at the beginning here. This is not easy. Oof, that was close. What's going on here? Why does everything hurt so bad? I mean, I guess I over aggroed, but still. Well, I could go this far route, which I think is slightly safer maybe but let's just let's just be careful here we're all ranged so we should be able to contain these battles cover our oh no we do have Devona she's not ranged oh they're running energy surge that's why they hurt so bad We're good. Here in that white tiger's four. <laughs> that four damage from our tiger. That's funny. Hopefully we can get him a few levels and then he'll be useful. We could also use him later on to in inflict uh, condition damage. That might be nice with a f little fragility action. Fragility with a pet that does like poison and bleed and stuff. Pet is not too bad. There we go. And if I am having some tanky problems, I can always switch to my sword without any problem because we're not running, we're not even running dagger or sword, so the weapon doesn't really matter. These, these guys have some knockdown abilities, it's kind of annoying. 
some impressive healing there, keeping my level 5 Tiger alive. <laughs> I definitely expected him to be taken, taken out very quickly. And I noticed we didn't have as many henchmen to choose from. I wonder if it's because we split... The henchmen might have split into two groups. One to go to the Lux and one to go to the Kurzix. Is that a reason why? But it seems a little bit arbitrary at this point of like why certain outposts, outposts have a lot of henchmen and why they don't. Maybe for balance purposes or something. But it would have been nice to have the Minion Master Necromancer for this mission. So far, it's going pretty well. But we need to get Donica to the door here. She can open it up with her little Kurzik magic powers. I like having a pet. I'm a sucker for a little animal companion. They did a pretty good job on the texture, because obviously they kind of just reskinned the Melandrew Stalker, but they did, like, beef him up a little bit, so I can't really tell if it's a totally new model, or they re or if they redid it. Either way, they did a good job. Oh, we need to be really careful. We have to keep her alive here. We gotta defeat all of the groups, so we need to do some good aggro here. Get back, get back, get back. Yeah. I think they're going to separate after a little while. Once they separate, we can pick them off. Maybe. Definitely don't want to... Yeah. I don't want to have to fight all of these guys. There's so many. I guess we'll have to, though. Right. What's the best way to do this? Maybe I can maybe I can draw them out a little bit. As long as Donica and Yeah, they're not gonna move. I can't control them. Oh, I need to switch to my hackers, darn it. No. My tiger, no. What was that, like, glowing thing? Was someone... Did Donica get, like, a level up or something? That was weird. Oh, no, my tiger got a level up. Okay. Tiger got taken out, but still gained a level. But even when the tiger is down, the pet is down, it gains XP if it's near the battle. Alright, it wasn't so bad. Let's go clockwise, or counterclockwise rather. And let's trigger all of these traps all at once. That's great. Three left. Now it should be easier, I think. Yeah, I mean, we actually do quite a lot of single single uh, target DPS pressure. And our enchantment lasts a really long time. We'll have no problem maintaining it. <laughs> White tiger out in the front. Ooh, that earth. Is that our earth elementalist? No, it's not. Aquid. That's rough. Wow, that just exploded me. Something's hurting a lot. It's these earth elementalists.
There we go. Aiden with the AoE. Good job. Oh, there's a boss here. River Moss Planter. The boss names are much better in factions than they are in prophecies, in my opinion. They actually, like, are w words, <laughs> kind of. In prophecies, they're all like Rick Bong Blopper and just really weird noise names with their mouth. Mouth noises. All right, last group. So I think something happens. Yeah, whenever you get the urn here, it's a lot of trouble. There's gonna be some like environmental damage going on. Okay. Now we cleared the way. Let's get the urn. Could be a little cutscene here. Go ahead and pick it up. All right. She just said there's a trap, but let's see what happens. Where's Minlo going? Oh, he just ran for his own life? Look out! Okay. I Don't guess he tried to help us. Right? Listen, be damned. I didn't see that one coming. Oh, that's her I'm voice? Right. <laughs> Brother Menlo? Why is her voice Brother like Menlo. that? <laughs> I'm unhurt, but I'm trapped on this side. It's up to you to get the Countess and the Urn out safely. I'll go around and meet you in front of the cathedral. May Duena carry you safely to your destination. May Balthazar give you the might to make it through. Go now. These are really long. How's he gonna go alone? Not our problem. Okay. Well, yeah, they just drop down. But we can use this item to our advantage. It like soaks up damage and then it gives like a party wide shield after it absorbs enough damage. So go left would be safest, no right, or maybe straight. So she has no idea where we should go. Yeah, I'm not sure which one the easiest is either. Earth Elementals, Stone Rain. Stone Reapers are Necromancers, I guess. Let's shield our party and then we'll go in. Ooh, they're blinding me, but no problem. Ooh, this is a good idea going it. Look at that. Oh, they're melting them. So they're supposed to be anti-warriors, but they're bl earth blinding. Doesn't bother us one bit. My tiger is down though. Wow, that was a lot of shielding. And the enchantment durations are increased by 20% in the water. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's go left. Come on, Tigey. I need to think of a name for my tiger. I just realized we can name him. 
I think down the middle are those stone enemies and wardens and stuff. On the left are these... Okay. Oni, apparently. Our tiger just passed away. Let me turn down the volume. Next volume is a little too high. There we go. Oh, I need to make sure I charge this up to like level 3 I think is the max before I drop it. One, two. I mean I can cast I should go ahead and cast spells I guess. Nice. I think there's a nice elemental... Yeah, the Ancient, I think, that's a boss. Yeah, it's level 28. I think there's a nice elemental... Elite skill around here. Alright, there's a lot of... The... Oh, it's back up, back up, back up. Oh, no, no. I didn't know they were running at us. It'd be okay. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a lot of them. It'll be okay. I dropped the urn. Man, there's a ton. Let me pick up the urn again and try and absorb some damage. Not absorbing. There we go, level two. Holy cow, there's a lot of them. It's all these uh, vampiric horrors. That's the issue. The Kirins need to go first. I don't even know. I honestly don't know what's going on. Keep clumsiness up. Up the shield. Okay, we somehow survived that. That was crazy. things are super loud and certain things are not loud Let's go geez that was a lot I think this has um shatterstone it's a very nice very nice skill water magic's damaging skill Not so bad. So at level one, it's 80 damage protection. Oh, darn. These Kirin, they just like run around and patrol a lot. You gotta really keep track of where they're at. Level two. I don't wanna drop it yet because I wanna get up. To, I don't wanna waste the shields for this battle. I think my henchmen should be able to handle them easily. They can cast some spells. 
big gun. Wow, they have some party wide like poisoning. Level five. Whoa, it absorbs one thousand two hundred and eighty divided among the party. That's huge. Let's use it on this battle, I guess. We took out the Keenan. I think we can just fight all these. Except those dragon moss are really scary. We need to take out the dragon moss first. Let's Take out this right side. Oh, they're attacking my tiger, I guess, not me. Or Devona. I catch sympathetic visage on myself. Very nice. Level 7 already. Nice. Congrats. All right, Dragon Moss now. I'm saving, I'm saving the urn for like a difficult battle. This is the easier path. This isn't so bad. Whoa, that hurt. Onis are level 28. Assassins. The Onis look so cool in this game. One of the coolest monster monster skins i think monster models i think they have their own like assassins daggers you can get i might be wrong oh oh shadow shroud what is that can't cast enchantments on myself Get inside this ward. The Onis are rough. Okay, I think we're almost to the end, maybe? Wow, the Oni are everywhere. Keep forgetting to keep illusion of weakness on. That will really help uh, against the assassins like that. Yeah, this is the end. But there's one more difficult battle we are going to face, if I'm not mistaken. Got this urn level five. Let's see how good it works. There's a boss. Come over here. I think we just need to beat the boss. No. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. 
Up this. Take him out. Oh, he they took off my di they disenchanted me. That sucks. Ugh, I keep getting interrupted from the knockdowns. There we go. Burst him, burst him, burst him. Nice. Protect Danica so she can open the door. Let's back up. Let's back up. There's too many. My pet tiger. Oh, she's she's just running in. Why are there so many? Let's switch to our sword because... Yeah. Oh, that... We need to earn and that's what it's wrong. Oh, I'm an idiot. Protect her. Oh no. Oh. Heal her. Oh, so stupid. My job. Okay, we're back at the end of the mission. We had to run all the way back, start over, but we're here. So I learned some things. I need to keep her alive. She's just going to run ahead and aggro everyone. We just have to defend her. And I need to remember to use this urn in the right place. Let's try and aggro these guys. One by one. Oh, they just all run to the door. I had to drop it that time. Is she just running? She's just running straight to the door. You really crazy person. We just have to run with her, I guess. How are we supposed to protect her? I don't understand. She just runs straight in. Pick up the urn. Dude. I don't get it. Alright, here we are at the end of the mission. I'm not gonna lie, this is like my 10th attempt at doing this stupid thing. Um, I kind of figured out what we have to do. I had been rushing to destroy the stone judge, but I think what I actually have to do is once... Well, yeah, because once I destroy the stone judge, Danica just runs to the doors here, and she tries to open the doors while tanking all of these, like, stone soul, stone range, all these golems. So what I want to try and do is take out as many ads as possible. Uh, I mean, yeah, 
I need to try and I need to try and aggro them and pull them back. That's what I need to do. And I also don't want Danica to take all this damage. We need to come up here. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, I think we can fight him here. The Devona is gonna rush in like that. No, that's what I didn't want to happen. Empathy on him. You'll notice I changed my build a little bit too. Uh, I had tried it so many times with the um, with the uh, daggers and um, what do you call it? Illusionary weaponry. And unfortunately, I don't think that's a good. I don't think that's a good skill bar to have for this. Okay, so see, she just rushes ahead. Really annoying. Come on, guys. Save her. I think I lost again. Okay. Keep her alive. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Keep her alive. Keep her alive. No, we lost again. Please, please, please. Live, 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 live. Oh my god. I think we got it. I think we did it. Oh, this was like the hardest mission by far. I'm not even exaggerating. We attempted this so many times. I think, I think we did it. Whew. I'm like shaking here. This was, this was a huge challenge. And I can't even say that I did it well, but man, will we get through it. Oh. Yes. That feels good. That's why I was late in the last, uh, uploading this last video is because I was stuck on this mission so bad. Okay. Would have been nice to have Menlo with us. Come, Master Togo will want to hear that we've recovered the urn. Thank you, Countess. Ah, oh, I think that was like the hardest mission so far. Now we need to go to the Luxons, I believe, to get their spear. <clears throat> And we got masters. Heck yeah. <laughs> I do not want to do that mission ever again. Jeez, that was tough. All right. Yeah, sorry this was late getting out. Uh, if you're wondering where was the video yesterday, I was I was raging really hard. <laughs> like, I was screaming at my computer. I wish I could have done it with the illusionary weaponry. And I pretty much I think I think it would be possible if we had one other player because having to do like melee damage plus holding the urn and dropping it at the right times like that was really really tedious um yeah it wasn't pretty could have done it better probably but we got through it anyway thanks for watching we'll be going to the next mission area um wherever it is uh, uh, yeah, I think we have to backtrack, actually, back to Monster Keep and then go to the Luxon. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Uh, thanks. Bye. <laughs>